Hello, St. Leo's School. Uh, I just wanted to share a few thoughts today on um, praying and our spiritual life in this time of um, being separated from others and separated from our parish community um, physically. Um, first and foremost, um, we always talk about the importance of Mass uh, and the beauty of the Mass and the importance of coming to Mass and receiving Holy Communion. Uh, and that's something that we're not able to do right now. Um, and I can't help but think about the Christians in Japan uh, hundreds of years ago. Uh, the first Christian missionaries came to Japan. I think we talked about this in some of the classes around one of the feast days of, of a Japanese saint. Um, but the first Christian missionaries came to Japan and started teaching about the faith. And um, then not long after that, the government kicked out all the missionaries and they made it illegal for the missionaries to be in Japan teaching the Christians. But there were still Christian people um, who still loved the, their faith, loved Jesus, and loved the Mass. Um, and Japan was in many ways cut off from the world uh, for hundreds of years. And then finally when they opened up Japan and uh, Christian missionaries, um, I think French priests came to Nagasaki and uh, set up a little church. Um, a man came into the church, a Japanese man, um, and he asked them three questions. And he said, um, first, um, do you venerate Mary, the mother of God? And the priest said, yes. And he said, second, do you follow the Pope in Rome? And they said, yes. And he said, third, are you married? Asking the priests. And the priest said, no, we're not married. Um, and since he passed their little test, he took the priests to a whole community of Christians who had been living their faith in secret without any priests for over 200 years. Um, and so that's something we can relate to in our, our short separation from uh, the Eucharist. And I think it's, um, there, are, there are prayers out there called spiritual communion prayers. And we're trying to make them available on our parish Facebook, our parish Instagram, on our parish website. Um, and these are great prayers to pray um, when we're separated from the Eucharist, when we can't receive the Eucharist. Uh, especially great prayers to pray when we're able to watch Mass on EWTN um, or other means like that, um, uh, prayers of longing to receive the sacraments. Um, so that's, that's very important. Um, the other important thing to remember is there are a lot of resources out there right now. Uh, so Magnificat, the publication, is available online. Um, the USCCB, United States Catholic Conference of Bishops, uh, has all of the readings for Mass, Sunday Mass, Daily Mass, all the Masses, so you can always find the readings there. Um, there are great resources on YouTube. Our parish has a subscription to Formed, uh, which is like Catholic Netflix, um, and we will be continuing to provide resources uh, from our own parish, our own, um, our own resources on our Facebook, our Instagram, um, through this, uh, these videos, uh, and on our website, so stay tuned. Keep praying, keep all of us in your prayers. Uh, you're certainly in all of ours. Um, and while uh, we don't have any public masses happening right now, uh, every day Father Han and I are celebrating private masses and remembering all of you, our whole community, in prayer in those masses. Um, so please keep us in prayer too. God bless.